Hi everybody, I am Mocha and welcome to my music shop. Tonight I want to show you how I have made this cinematic synthwave track. Let's jump into it and listen to the track first. This track has been produced a year ago. The last evening of summer, I was sitting here, tweaking some knobs, switching some presets. Actually, the first thing you need to do is to download sample packs in that specific genre that you want to produce. In my case, I have already had Synthwave sample packs downloaded before. It doesn't matter what the packs are, it could be any good sounding pack, the pack that you like. Just listen to the sounds and choose the good ones. Or you can download my sample pack with drum sounds and synth presets for C-Room, which I used within this track. Links will be in the description below. So let's go back to that summer evening, you remember, when I was tweaking, switching. I do this until I feel something inside. At that moment I had felt something when I played these three notes. I decided to layer them. And layer again. Cinematic Death Bank style lead. This riff is the heart of the track. Usually I use piano sound for such melodies. Actually, let me show you. Let's go to my piano. Oh, David, sorry. May I? Ooh, so cinematic. So, what is inside? Main lead. It will be in sample pack. Just basic saturation with decapitator. Nothing special. Uh, an EQ. A little bit UAD EMT reverb. Let's listen to the second one. It's Nothing special in this lead, but I decided to add this. This lead glide makes, obviously, gliding effect. And lead 2 for the verse section of the track. Again, all together. Now let's go to the bass, first bass. Open and filter for beginning. Here's L4 tool to make this sidechain effect. And sidechain 2 from kick will be later here. Yeah. And appreciator, without it, it just. And I decided to double them. And another bass line is a gas sample, yeah. Took the sample and cut it and pitched to the right notes that I need. So together they sound like this. Let's go to the pads. This pad sound like emulation of orchestra or core. Now oh, let's begin listen from here. The plugin Pitch Hack. It's an Ableton's plugin. Adds some shimmer, high octave shimmer effect to the sound. Auto pan. But 
then I decided to make signal in mono without it it's in stereo but I decided to make it mono okay let's see another one it's called strings emulation of strings but this is exactly what we need in the electronic synth wave track and this synth this synth adds just some high zzz. Actually, I forgot to tell you about some instruments. Not all of the synths made in Serum. I want to tell you about F9 Company. They have made the precise sampling of analog gear, synthesizers, drum machines, and also they have made Ableton racks for processing your sound. Very good racks. And F9 Ableton racks are just great. Just check them. Let's listen to the drums and begin with a kick. Chest kick. Nothing special. Snare consists of two parts. I guess this is the main snare. Eight is snare. I love this sound. And some lo-fi crackle to add the character to the sound. There's a glue compressor on two snares. Just ride. Just tambourines. Here toms. Oh my god, I, I love this sound so much. Ooh. And, of course, we need orchestra drums. You remember, it's a cinematic synthwave track. Orchestra hits. Like this. Or this. Or this. <laughs> There's an effects. Faxes play the role of space creators and gluing elements. The last track is vocal sample. I just added retro color and double tracker for widening the sound. Without them, it was like. I just made another placement for the sound in my track. And let's look at the master. There's virtual tape machines from Slate Digital. Actually, it's too aggressive settings. I don't know why I have made them. Oof. A cue in some low end. An invisible limiter, again aggressive settings. Sorry. I just needed to make this track louder and glue all the elements together. Please tell me, was it interesting and useful for you? Maybe you have any questions about something specific here, or it was too simple for you and you want some more advanced music production techniques, so let me know in the comments, please. This channel is full of my tracks, all of them are copyright free, so it means that you can use it at your YouTube channel and all monetization is yours. Thank you again for watching, see you in the next video and please tell me something in comments, it will help me to make the next video.